Willow has had her calf. It's a little tiny heifer. She's doing a great job. We're out here checking it out. This morning I want you to see something special. Something the dinos have done. There's a reason I call them dinosaurs. Well, they're, clo they're the closest living relative to the T-Rex, but they're also very destructive. Look, how have they done this? In just a few days, they've knocked down these humongous weeds. Thank goodness I figured out how to use that destructiveness for good, and I put them to work here, breaking down this wild and woolly jungle garden for another planting. Look, I just cleaned that out. I promise I did. You ducks, you backwashingist ducks. <laughs> Let's watch the ducks for a moment. There they are, Bernie and Minnie. Sneaking in there, get some food, watch him. See the back washing? <laughs> they like to uh, eat and drink at the same time. Get a little something to eat, go get a little something to drink. Okay folks, and Mr. Brown, you ready to do this? We got our fall planting stuff. We got some Swiss chard going in. We got our crop garden that the chickens have prepared. Hopefully we're gonna do better than we did over here. These brassicas here are really struggling. So in this area, we've learned, we've, we've worked in more blood mill. We're gonna give them more uh, vermicomposting and we're gonna spray them with some shackly soap to keep the bugs off of them. Here, let me show you real quick what's happened to one of these. You can see that up close. Not sure if it's gonna make it. This one's definitely not gonna make it. Are you gonna help, buddy? Thank you, you work that, you work that spade. That one's been kind of tough this morning. We tried to start this about 30 minutes ago, but even Mr. Brown pitches a fit, believe it or not. And so we worked him through it, he's happy now. That's a Lego, you're right. And now he's out here putzing around with us, which I'm happy about. Hey, Mr. Brown, come on over here, let's spray these plants. Vivian, right here. Right there, come on, put them on here. I think it's gonna be easier to spray these while they're in their tray because they're all concentrated in one place. There you go. Yeah. That's just, uh, that's just gonna keep the bugs off hopefully during this transition. They get weakened when you transition them, so they're stressed out and so they become more vulnerable to bugs. Okay, that's our line. We're gonna plant okay. Swiss chard every six inches right next to that line. Hey, so look at all the tomatoes I harvested. Yes. chard in. We're, Mama's about to finish it up. We're gonna do a tray of lettuce and call it a morning. Mama. Look at this guys. This is what it's all about right here. That's all the things we Well it's the stage right before what it's all about and then we're gonna eat it and that's what it's all about. What have you been doing? Dipping your head in the puddle? Crazy thing. Okay guys we gotta bring in the harvest. Nice. This is just a third of the cucumbers we picked today. And if you know anything about cucumbers, they only stay fresh for a week, maybe two weeks. And there's no way we can eat all these cucumbers in that amount of time. So let's dehydrate some. Got my mandolin, mandolin slicer, I guess that's how you say it. You, you cannot help with this, this one's sharp. But I'll tell you what, I'll cut them and you can put them on it, okay? Put these on the tray like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, you do it. Thank you, keep going. Put them all on there. Good boy. Okay, Brown and I got about two to a tray, two cucumbers to a tray. Now we're gonna salt them and then just stick them in the dehydrator. Hey, Mr. Brown, we gotta spread the love a little bit. Can y'all see all that salt on there? Spread this love, buddy. All gone, used all the cucumbers in that basket. I was pretty impressed. Got, got some stubs here. You know, I didn't want to grind it down too far. That can really cut you. Okay, there we go. They're inside dehydrating in the Excalibur. What'd you just say, Mom? Willow had her calf. Oh, 
<laughs> oh look, she sent a picture. Yup. Oh, that Willow man, she's a good mom. She is. Yeah, did you see what Willow? Oh my gosh, she remembers Willow. Yeah, yeah there's Willow. Willow. And that's her baby. Willow had a baby. Do you want to go see the baby? Yeah. Okay, the cucumbers just dinged, been in there six hours. They might need a couple more hours. What do you think? Fill that middle. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a couple more. Yeah, because it said it's leathery though. It's, oh, okay. That's leathery, right? Yeah, that is leathery actually. <laughs> no, not your favorite. I don't know if I'm gonna be snacking on them. Maybe if they got crispy. Okay, then we need to go longer. All right, that's not enough. You saw her face, y'all. He has got a crazy loose tooth here. I think, I think it's gonna be an easy one to pull. Hold still. That was so easy. <laughs> now you got no front teeth. We're on the road because we actually got a hold of the owner of Willow and we're able to come over there today. So we're gonna see this one Day, not even a day old calf. It was born about 11:15 ish, I think. So this will be very interesting. So they're just right over the mountain. Look at that beautiful view. Look if you can see that hawk. Good lord. See it on that fence. Look at that hawk. Just waiting. Just got some nice raised garden beds. Nice chick shaw. Hello. Hey there, Willow. You remember us? Willow, you did good. Okay, so we're gonna get Willow and the calf. She needs Willow and the calf over in the other pasture. I gotta herd Willow. I've learned this the hard way, but you gotta get the mama in there first and then come back for the calf. We'll get her. We'll bring her to you, okay? Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. I know, I know. You're a good mama. You're a good mama. Show Norris some love. Hey, Norris, how you been doing, buddy? How you been doing? Maybe you could give your mama some relief. <laughs> her teeth are swollen. Okay, we'll bring her, Willow. Don't you worry. Come here, Mr. Brown. Come pet the cat. That's your baby. It's gonna be Dora. Dora. Yeah. It doesn't rhyme with Norris. It does. We're coming. We got your baby. It's a heavy calf. Is it? <laughs> Amazing how heavy they are right away. I'm gonna hurry them all. It's okay, Willow. Come on, let's go back. Now, are we gonna put. Where did he go? We're just gonna stay here. Okay. There you go. There you go. There she's back. Hey, precious baby. Willow's tea is enlarged. We're going to give her a little bit of relief. She's got a lot of colostrum in there. She says the calf has, has drank, so that's good. We're going to help Willow out a little bit. Mr. Brown has his love affair with sticks. And this one's long enough that he can reach the ground. <laughs> okay, Willow, you did you did good. You walked right in here. Willow, okay. Okay, you're amazing. Okay, she's got you a little treat there. That's good. Good girl. Look at that rich colostrum. She just gives way more than uh, 
the calf knees and we're gonna give her a little bit of relief so she doesn't get any mastitis or anything like that. We'll leave, we'll leave plenty for the calf. We'll just give her some relief in each teat. She's why I mean, she don't like that so much. Okay, we got Willow out there. We got the new owner acquainted. The first night's always the hardest. It is. Brings back those memories, those struggles. <laughs> But we had to learn the hard way. We didn't have anybody to come show us. See you later, Willow and Doris. And Norris. And Norris. You guys are in a good place. We love you guys. They got me upstairs. Congratulations. Awesome. Awesome. The Rhodes Acrobatic Team. Okay, let me see it. Woo! What's this one? Cool. Handstand. Look, it's, it's, it's getting ready to catch a bug. That's like the little Is thing it, it does. Mm -hmm. It does this and it goes. And it catches the bug? Mm hmm. Cool.